certain operations can be performed only by a specific role on a specific domain controller. A domain controller that holds one of these roles is an operations master. An operations master role is also known as a flexible single master operations, FSMO, role. Five operations master roles exist. You can locate all five on a single domain controller or spread them across several domain controllers. By default, the first domain controller installed in a forest contains all five roles. However, you can move these roles after building more domain controllers. By allowing changes only on a single domain controller, the operations master roles help to prevent conflicts in ADDS due to replication latency. When making changes to data on an operations master, you must connect to the domain controller that holds the role. The five operations master roles are distributed as follows. Each forest has one schema master and one domain naming master. Each ADDS domain has one RID master, one infrastructure master, and one primary domain controller, PDC, emulator. Forest operations masters. A forest contains the following single master roles. Domain naming master. This is the domain controller that you must contact when you add or remove a domain or make domain name changes. If the domain naming master is unavailable, you will not be able to add domains to the forest. Schema master. This is the domain controller in which you make all schema changes. To make changes, you typically sign in to the schema master as a member of both the schema admins and the enterprise admins groups. A user who is a member of both groups and who has the appropriate permissions can also edit the schema by using a script. If the schema master is unavailable, you will not be able to make changes to the schema. This prevents the installation of applications that require schema changes, such as Exchange Server. Note, the Windows PowerShell command get ad forest from the Active Directory module for Windows PowerShell shows the forest properties, including the current domain naming master and schema master. Domain Operations Masters A domain contains the following single master roles. A RID master. Whenever you create an object in ADDS, the domain controller where you created the object assigns the object a unique identifying number known as a SID. To ensure that no two domain controllers assign the same SID to two different objects, the RID master allocates blocks of RIDs to each domain controller within the domain to use when building SIDs. If the RID master is unavailable, you might experience difficulties adding new objects to the domain. As domain controllers use their existing RIDs, they eventually run out of them and are unable to create new objects. Infrastructure Master This role maintains interdomain object references, such as when a group in one domain contains a member from another domain. In this situation, the infrastructure master is responsible for maintaining the integrity of this reference. For example, when you look at the security tab of an object, the system looks up the listed SIDs and translates them into names. In a multiple domain forest, the infrastructure master looks up SIDs from other domains. If the infrastructure master is unavailable, domain controllers that are not global catalogs will not be able to check universal group memberships or authenticate users. The infrastructure role should not reside on a global catalog server unless you have a single domain forest. The exception is when you follow best practices and make every domain controller a global catalog. In that case, the infrastructure role is not necessary because every domain controller knows about every object in the forest. PDC Emulator Master The domain controller that holds the PDC Emulator Master is the time source for the domain. The PDC emulator masters in each domain in a forest synchronize their time with the PDC emulator master in the forest root domain. You set the PDC emulator master in the forest root domain to synchronize with a reliable external time source. The PDC emulator master is also the domain controller that receives urgent password changes. If a user's password changes, the domain controller holding the PDC emulator master role receives this information immediately. This means that if the user tries to sign in, the domain controller in the user's current location will contact the domain controller holding the PDC emulator master role to check for recent changes. This will occur even if the user has been authenticated by a domain controller in a different location that had not yet received the new password information. If the PDC emulator master is unavailable, users might have trouble signing in until their password changes have replicated to all the domain controllers. The PDC Emulator Master also plays a role in editing GPOs. When you open a GPO, 
other than a local GPO, for editing, the PDC Emulator Master stores the edited copy. This prevents conflicts if two administrators attempt to edit the same GPO at the same time on different domain controllers. However, you can choose to use a specific domain controller to edit the GPOs. This is especially useful when editing GPOs in a remote office with a slow connection to the PDC emulator. Note, the Windows PowerShell command getAD domain from the Active Directory module for Windows PowerShell shows the domain properties, including the current RID master, infrastructure master, and PDC emulator master. Note, the global catalog is not one of the operations master roles.